All right, welcome back to the King Closer Reacts. I'm the King Closer, RJ Bates III, and today we're going to find out a man who's gotten to judge me twice in the Closer Olympics, if he's a closer or not, Mr. Max Maxwell. Now, we all know Max has moved away from the United States, and he's over in Dubai, and he's doing his own thing with development deals and all that out there. This is an older video, but listen, He's still got to close deals, right? We this is this is content that's been out there. I want to know, does he have what it takes to be a closer? That's what I want to find out. Now, I did find this video myself. I was doing some research, trying to find some videos, and I came across it. So I got to watch like a couple of minutes. It is a longer video. Um, so I, I will prepare you. It's it's longer. I think we're probably gonna be close to an hour here on this reaction video, but it looks like there's going to be multiple phone calls. Well, from what I can tell with fast forward without watching too much, it looks like multiple phone calls to get the deal closed. But in Max's time, it says he got this deal done in 30 minutes. So let's get to it and let's find out if Mr. Max Maxwell is a closer. Hello. Hey, this is Max. How you doing? All right, yeah. I'm doing well. Um, I'm calling from Venture Atlas. I think you may have spoken to uh, one of my associates. Uh, yes, sir. Okay, perfect. How you doing today? All right, all right. Um, so I, the reason for my call today is because typically anything over 125,000, they got to get my approval, and that's just just easier sometimes if I just make the call myself. Yes, sir. So I just wanted to uh, reach out to you and kind of see what you know. Some of this may be redundant because you may have told like a lot of things but you know i wanted to find out some information about the house is that cool yes sir all right well tell me tell, just tell me a little bit about it okay so interesting start there you know obviously this was a lead that someone else maybe it looks like those are like students or employees that are sitting in on with max um interesting that he he brought up like hey Maybe some of this is going to be redundant, but I'm the guy that makes the decision on anything over 125000 And then his direct question following that is, is let's talk about the property. Um, so an interesting choice there. I always, I always find it um, interesting to see, okay, how do people want to navigate these conversations? In Max's case here, he wants to go directly into talking about the, the property and the condition of the property. Um, so interesting tactic start there. Um, well, I inherited the home 10 years ago, um, in the, in the meantime, I upgraded the home for it, uh, cheap rock, um, crown molding, vinyl windows, uh, paint, vinyl outside, um, uh, upgraded the old copper, uh, plumbing pipes to PC pipes, um, new counter, uh, kitchen sink, sticky tile, um, it's pretty much everything I could, man. Um, man, the home. Yeah, like that, I've been here for ten years, and I re I do have a loan on the home of ninety k mm -hmm. that um that's pushing me to sell the home. Okay. Um, that's my reason for for sale. But okay. that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Okay. Well, so in a lot of information there divulged by the seller. Also, just side note, uh, Max's beard is on point, and the line is smooth. It's looking clean, I, on point. Love it, love it. Um, so going back to what the seller said there, even though Max specifically asked about, hey, tell me about the property, uh, with that being that open-ended of a question, Max was still able to pull out of the seller it's an inherited property. He's got a mortgage. That's why he wants to sell. He found out the mortgage amount. A lot of very valuable information for Max. Now this is important. Like, where does he take the conversation? What's the next follow-up question? Does he continue to go down the motivation path? Or is he going to go back and transition to talking more about the condition, the timeline? Where is Max going to take this? Because as a closer... This is where you get to make that decision on where you want to steer the conversation now. Personally, for me, I would want to stay on the motivation and probably talk about what does that look like with the 90K mortgage, 
What do you mean by that's the reason why you're wanting to sell? Kind of press a little bit more on the motivation. Sounds like you did a lot of work to it, man. A lot of work. Um, man, you know, I'm looking, you got, you got, tell me, tell me more about this loan that you got. Oh, there you go. It's there with PK. I don't know if you guys have did any, um, well, I'm pretty sure you guys have did your research online on the home and it's a, a sell and stay with, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with the I buy your company, um, but it's a sell and stay with these guys and pretty much they um, have given me funds or money on the, on, on the property and I'll have to pay it back within a 12 month period. And if I don't, um, I will have to sell. It's, it's no mortgage or nothing like that. I'm not, not behind on any payments yeah. other than the amount that's owed back at the due of the sale of the property. Got it, okay. So it's like, right. a, it's like a lean loan they put on it, basically. Yeah, so to speak, yes sir. Okay, well that's, uh, I've never heard of so that's interesting to, you know, but that, that, that sounds pretty cool. So, I mean, listen, it sounds like you did a lot of work to the house. Have you ever thought about listening with a real estate agent? No, and the reason being because um, I kind of missed that time window as far as listening with an agent mm -hmm. or as far uh, as getting these guys paid back. Oh, okay. I, I'm at that year's mark where um, I just need to go ahead and sell. So an interesting question there. He immediately kind of pulled away a little bit and went with the route of, have you thought about listening with a real estate agent? Yet he hasn't really asked like what the guy is looking for. And anytime someone divulges like, hey, I owe 90K on the property, I always want to ask up front pretty early. Like, of course, I want to ask early on how much you want for the property. But it's specifically in that case, okay, you owe 90K, how much are you looking to get for it? Because Dude, it, it could be a beautiful scenario. The seller is just like, I just need to get out from underneath this. If I can get 90K or or if I can get the, the mortgage paid off and walk away with like 10K and recoup some of my cash, I'd be okay with it. Um, interesting that Max was already pulling away without even really asking what the seller wanted for the property. Move forward. Okay. So what, I mean, what you're talk, you, you keep bringing up a deadline. What What's, so they have a, a one year time frame. Is that what you're saying? Yes, sir. Man, so what happens if you don't pay it back in one year? Um, I, I can't even think that way. Really? <laughs> yes, sir. What I mean, what do they kind of say in the contract? Is it something? I mean, I'm assuming that they would take ownership of the property. Oh wow, for ninety thousand, huh? At the small amount that they gave me on it, yes, sir. Yeah. Well, man, that that's terrible. Yes, it is. <laughs> I mean, so you're are you? How much, how much more months do you have left? Um, I'd say maybe 30 days. 30 days, okay. Yeah, to get, get a deal together, get it going. Well, listen, I mean, I've, I've bought a house in as little as seven, so that's, that's at least a little bright news. I just wanted to kind of, I, I just never heard of these type of loans before where they, you know, they force you to do a one year thing and where they force you to sell kind of crazy is it is it unusual for is it am i surprised no i mean i think i think people take advantage of people all the time you know what i mean and, and, and unfortunately this sounds like so your only option is to pay them 100 percent back at, at in in one year yes sir wow well so one thing i want to point out here that i absolutely love what max is doing is he's identified the pain point and he's really staying on topic with that. He is kind of asking a lot of closed-ended questions in regards to the pain point, but I do like the fact that he, because one of the things that drives me crazy is when I see someone identify the pain point and then change the subject and change the topic, it's like, where are you going? This is, this is the goal. This is what you want to be talking about. It's the most important thing to the seller. Uh, and quite frankly, it's what that seller needs to talk about to feel heard, to feel understood. So I love what Max is doing right here with staying on that topic. Well, have you thought about going to a regular financial institution and kind of refinancing it? More full. Um, that's not an option. Okay. Well, you know, I, and, and, and here's, I know you're probably thinking, why is this guy not want my house? And that's, that's not the scenario here. What I'm trying to do is find out the best actual solution for you. You know, I, I, I'm not the, I'm, I'm not always the best option for everybody I talk to, 
reason is, is I'm, a, I'm an investor, you know, I, I got to buy the house and fix it up and get it to standards and be able to sell it in the future. And I'm sure you understand that we it's but I want it to be a win win situation for both of us. So I'm just trying to just trying to go through the actual, you know, the options that you do have available to you. Yes, sir. OK, so what were you what do you what's the perfect scenario for you in this situation right now? Love that question. Sell. <laughs> <laughs> I get you on that one. How fast? Uh, tomorrow. Uh, within the next couple of weeks. Okay. But again, the the price. Um, my price range has to be my price range, and the reason being because I'm I'm going to have to be able to move forward in life, as far as a, a down payment on another home and. Is just to be able to get my structure, you know, oh, you for my next move forward. Yeah, that's understandable. So you're you're looking to sell, catch up on the loan, have some money in your pocket to be able to, you know, either rent for a little while or buy a house when the time is right. It's things like that. Yes, sir. Okay. Sure. Have you thought are you going to stay in the area? Or are you thinking about moving? No, I'm going to stay in the area. Okay. If you don't mind me asking, what type what type of work do you do? Um, um, a dump truck driver, CDLs. Oh, wow, okay. Man, I'm actually uh, building a piece of property of mine and I'm gonna be loading out a bunch. They, when they told me about the price of gravel, I almost lost my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> you guys got it rocking and rolling, man. I need to get a dump truck or two, huh? Yes, sir. Commonality. Okay, so your perfect scenario, if I'm just recanting this in my head, it'd be good for you to get out within 30 days. Um, it'd be good for you to get the price you've been talking about because you obviously you got a good job and you want to stay local and you just want to, you want to move on. You want to move on, but you want to move on with something in your pocket. Yes, sir. Okay. So not talking about the loan. What, what is it that you want to have in your pocket? What's a good amount of number you want to walk away with? Well, right now I do have a, a, a real cash offer of 140 K. Oh, wow. Um, yes, sir. Um, on the home. Uh, as is cash offer. Mm -hmm. So my the, my ultimate goal is to to get as much as I can. Absolutely. I only sell the home um, once. Yeah, <laughs> I get it. Perfect sense. You want to get the most out of it, right? You know, yes, makes sense. As me as an investor, I want to buy as cheap as possible, and you want to sell high as possible. That's right. And we got to meet somewhere in the middle. <laughs> That's right. Yes, sir. I understand. So, so a roundabout way for him to get the the number out. I mean. He has the offer of 140. I would have liked to have seen him say why he, he did a good reaction to that number. Like, oh, wow. Uh, I would have liked to have seen him say, why haven't you accepted that? Maybe he's about to. Uh, why haven't you accepted that 140? Uh, was that number not? Uh, also, just trying to get an idea. The seller didn't actually answer his question. Max's question was, how much money do you want in your pocket? Not talking about the loan. He didn't come out and say 50 because he goes 90. He said, I've got a real cash offer as is for 140. So it, it leads, it leaves the door open for Max to continue to press on the price point right here with a follow-up question. So that $140,000 cash offer, is it solid? Do you, I mean, why haven't you just taken it? Because it sounds like a good number. Um, Again, I'm going to only have to do this once, so I'm going to try to get as much as I can uh, out, of, out of the home. You want to do it right. Do it once and do it right. Yeah. That's understandable. So I have ex excellent reviews on, on closing, so I'm, I'm, that's not really my issue. Is just my issue is just trying to find someone that could give me more than what he's offering. Yeah. Well, here, here's here's one thing, Brian. I've, I've been in this business for a little while, and it's one thing to get a contract on a house and it's another thing to close. Yes, sir. And, and what I say by that is, especially these I buyers in, in general, these guys will give you a, a number over the phone, yes. sign, sign a contract with you, put some type of crazy inspection clause in there, come out to the house and actually see it. And then they're going to drop down the price by 20, 30% of what they quoted you just because that's what's in their contract. So I, I, I say that just for you to be kind of knowledgeable, which I'm sure you've done your homework. I'm pretty sure you've spent a lot of time on Google searching. So interesting that he went the route of, of 
uh, kind of battering down his his competition there as an eye buyer. I don't think that there was anything. Maybe I missed it, but I didn't hear anything that identified this 140 offer as an eye buyer. It could easily just be another investor. It could be another wholesaler. He went the route of saying, hey, you know, he's eye buyers, crazy inspection periods, a little bit of a unique stance there and kind of an assumption on Max's part. Maybe he just knows uh, that that's what he's up against a lot in his in this market. Uh, but an interesting take there by Max. So the the ability to close is also important and, and being able to get the true number now, because here's here's what you're up against. You, you got a time clock and you don't want you don't need anybody playing games when you get closer to closing. And 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 to be honest with you, with you with you revealing that if you've revealed that to anybody else, I've just I've just been around the block. I've just seen dirty practices that I would call, you know, unethical, maybe not illegal, but unethical. So just be careful with whatever offer you get. And listen, I'm not disappointed if I can't buy your house. I can't buy every single house I, you know, I talk to and stuff like that. So, you know, if I if if hey, you might be you might be the one charging me uh, all that money for the for the, for the rock on my on my Matt. land I'm doing. I might I will well, still be friends. Like so I, there's no hard feelings over here. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Um, is there anybody else that you got to consult before you make this decision? You know, uh, and sign off on any paperwork. Is it just yourself? No, it's just myself. Then I would, um, again, I would turn everything over to, and and they would do the finalizing. I guess with the lawyers and the guys would get the lawyers together and I okay. guess the finalizing because they would have to actually sign off um, on the contract. Okay, so 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 they so they would have to do the approval on the contract. Yes, sir. That's yes, it. Sir. Man, I'm learning something every day, and I've been in this business for a while. This is a new one to me. Yeah. Um, but as long I mean, why would the lender – that's a very weird situation. Lenders don't normally have to sign off on you selling the property. They just have to give you a payoff. That's a very weird situation. As long as they get their money that they're owed, they don't care. No, they don't. That's, that's their main goal. They can give – <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I get it. If I sold it for a uh, 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 hundred thousand or five hundred thousand, as long as they get their do what do to them, they don't give. I hear that. I understand. Okay, so I'm just picturing this in my head now. What do you think this house is worth? Like completely fixed up? Like if you if if you had you know the money to put in it and you can sell it on the open market, what what do you think you can get? What are houses going for in that neighborhood? And that's, that's a crazy question because I really don't understand that because um, the house is, uh, is labeled as a ranch um, for starters. Um, excellent area, man. It, I, several nights I've gone to sleep with my front door unlocked by accident, of course. <laughs> but I'm just giving you an example of the neighborhood. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yes, sir. And, and but when, when I look on Zillow, or these other uh, property sites, you know, I see a 900 square foot home in the middle of the ghetto. Um, that's that you could tell someone that came in and renovated the home, but they want 160, 170 thousand dollars for the home. Mm -hmm. You know, but then you come out here to where my piece of land is. I, I it's, that's a hard question, you know. So I, I I can't really say, but I know it's also a home that's um. I think several lots down that's for sale. That's kind of the same uh, acres, and and it does. Um, in fact, it might be a little bit bigger, but I think they're asking maybe two two forty, something around in that neighborhood. Okay. But again, what a great question by Max. Look how much talk time that got out of the seller. It really opened them up when he said, "You know, what do you think this property would go for if it's completely fixed up?" You could see how invested and how important this is to the seller because he really opened up there and it's a tough question to answer and I'm confused. And when I look on Zillow, Redfin and all these other areas, and I, I mean, that is what you are striving for as a closer. Uh, and it really, Max has been completely comfortable and relaxed during this entire conversation, but that gave him some time to really kind of just sit back listen really understand where the seller is coming from uh, he's obviously looking online to, to compare to other properties 
And I, I'm curious if now that he's opened that up and he sees that this is kind of a a point of um, lack of knowledge, lack of understanding what's happening in the market, if now he's going to kind of come in as the expert and really explain, well, like, this is what I see is going on in the area because it's a huge opportunity right now because it is important to the seller. And he's basically saying, I need someone to kind of explain it to me because I don't know what's happening. And I, I really don't know. Okay. Well, that's that's honest. Um, you know, if, if, if you can do any updates to the property yourself, right, you can do whatever you wanted to do. What, what, what are some things you would do? Like if you were me, right? Like, so on this side right now, you're kind of helping me out, to be honest with you. I'm trying to paint a picture in my head that, hey, if I was able to give you what you're asking for, what type of work do I need to do to get this property so I can, you know, in, in a year's time, be able to put it on the market if the market's still a market in a year's time uh, and, and, and get that done? Well, I'm going to be honest with you. I'd say the house needs at least about 15K worth of work okay. upgrade. And that's just being completely honest. And I appreciate but that. My goal would be it's two lots. It's like 54 and 55 with two separate parcels. My goal would be to buy it as a whole and build additional home on that lot 54 that's vacant. Okay. And capitalize on my. <laughs> investment okay but that's 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 what that has been my goal um the time i was here but i just couldn't never get to that goal financial wise to be able to do that that's understandable before i got caught up in the loan and starting my truck dump truck business and everything well interesting turn of events there now all of a sudden it's a uh buy a house, you get a lot for free. Um, it sounds like Max didn't even know that that was a part of the deal. You saw his eyes light up. Now, again, sometimes in some markets, that's irrelevant. It, it doesn't really move the needle. The lot doesn't necessarily mean that it's worth a whole lot, right? Um, I think he still has to underwrite the deal based off of what's the after repair value minus whatever repairs it and get it somewhere where an end buyer is going to buy that. But it, it, it could be. Um, somewhat valuable and maybe add again, I don't know what market it's in, but you know, somewhere in the, you know, two to ten thousand dollar range for a little quarter acre lot is what it sounds like. Well, I mean, was it worth it? I mean, you, you, it seems like you know, you're in the right industry, especially an essential worker right now. I mean, yeah, I guess it was worth it, but you know, huh? That's life sometimes. Sometimes you lose things. Yeah. Okay, I will say, I did not like that question. I, I did not like that. Um, and sometimes, like, again, Max asked the question, but he looks like he's very focused on comping and underwriting and trying to understand where he needs to be. And then sometimes we ask a question and it can backfire, right? I always want to stay on point as much as possible with the deal and whatever we're talking about and, and follow the seller's lead. He tried to do that there a little bit, right? The seller's talking about, I took out this loan and start my trucking business, my dump truck business and all this. But again, if it backfires on you, which you, this one kind of, I mean, it's not massive. It's not like the deal's dead, but um, a little bit like, yeah, I mean, I guess, you know, kind of ruined the vibe a little bit, you know? So always be careful about asking questions that really don't move the needle for you, right? It, it, I think that would be considered more of like a rapport building question, uh, but it, it didn't really build the rapport. So then it's like, just uh, why did we do that? Yeah, I mean, you got to look at the brighter side of things sometimes too. You know, maybe it's I understand you inherited it, and but you know, it gave you an opportunity. I mean, listen, we're all at some point in our life, and some people are better off than others. But I would say, you know, you and I, we got it pretty good compared to some other people. Yeah, I would. And that's a blessing, man. Exactly. It could be so much worse. Exactly. So, what? What's your price? What do you? What do you? What, I know you said that the, the, you gave him one forty. You're telling me that you you hang up if I give you anything less than one forty? Yeah, I would have to. My goal. Would my, you hang up the phone hard or soft? I'm just asking. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, sir. No, sir. No hard feelings. No hard feelings. I understand. No, I get it. I get it. No, no hard feelings. But 
my goal is at least to be at at, at, at 145 to 150 ourselves for 145. And again, I'm going I'm going to bring you back to something you said earlier in our conversation about letting people in on your timeline. Yes, sir. Because at first these guys was originally at 145. So they already started. They already started negotiating down. Yeah, yes, but this after they came out to the property and they looked over in and out, they spent enough much time they needed. And in the home, outside the home, looking at the additional lot and, and, and going over their figures as well. Who, who if you don't mind me asking, who who is it? If you don't if you don't mind telling me, who who was it? Was it a big I company? Think, no, it's a it's a in the, it's a private investor like yourself. Okay. Yes, sir. Now I was originally dealing with and they shut down for they shut down for a little while. And that was that was bad news for me because these guys have gave me an offer of 190k. They would have, but what, like I said before, they would have never gave you 190k. They would have came out to you, and they would have negotiated the price down based upon. It's a it's a common practice with these guys. Mm-hmm. They, they 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 lock it up over the phone with you. Then they actually come visit the property with an inspector and they do an inspection and they say, hey, I know you told us you only needed 15,000, but from our calculations, we need 40,000. So I need to reduce the price by X amount of dollars. or I need to do this and that. It's 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 different. Remember, these guys are in Silicon Valley in San Francisco in some ivory tower making decisions here in Durham, Triad, Greensboro. They don't know any. They don't know these streets. Yeah, yes, sir. So, you know, they, they, they're just using algorithms to tell you what they may pay for. I, I find it, it's hilarious. He's like, they're in their ivory towers, and literally you're seeing that Max is sitting in a tower right now. Uh, but I, I do like his, his standpoint there on the eye buyers, uh, really pushing back. Um, and, and this is obviously like early post-COVID time. Uh, when he's on the phone here. And so, you know, that's where he brought up the essential worker. He brought up the fact that the eye buyers had shut down for a period of time. Uh, really like where we're at. We're, you know, we're 17 minutes in on his call, um, which we're approaching like the halfway point of, of him talking to the seller. Um, he has not really breached the subject of where like he would need to be. I think we have a good understanding of what the seller needs to be. I think we have a good understanding of what the property needs. I would like to see Max to start moving towards like trying to close the deal. The, we don't really need to do any more discovery phase or rapport building or anything like that. Um, I, I'd like to see him start talking some numbers and, and, and get that process going. So, so let me let me ask you this. Even if even if I came at 140, but you knew I was gonna really buy it, would would you just? I mean, if you if you already got, did you sign the contract for 140? No, sir. Okay. So, do you, if I can if I was able to get to 140, I'm not saying I can't, but if I was able to get to 140, would you at least entertain me? Because I know I'm gonna close. Um, uh, mm. I'd close sooner. No, sir. Okay. And I can respect that. No, sir. I, I wouldn't. Um, I've been dealing with these why? guys. Um, well, between between you and I, we've exchanged over 62 emails. Oh, wow. On the, on this piece of property. So he's definitely time invested. And I wouldn't. If you can't beat his offer, I, I can't. I would, I would definitely have to go with the guy that I've been. And I like that because that, that shows integrity. Because that means you wouldn't do the same thing to me. If I offered you, if if I offered you more, yes, sir. Okay. I will. So, I'm. If I, if we were able to come to an agreement today, would you sign today? Yes, after doing my due diligence. Okay. Um. And what do you mean by due diligence? Just, just curious. Um. Just um. <laughs> As far as going as find out as far as everything I can about you guys, your company, um, absolutely, your views, just every every anything, even calling, even calling back a couple of people, and just, just like I said, just invest. 
So you, so, so let me get this right. I know you want to get the best offer. So even if I gave you a, a higher number, you'd probably go back and ask somebody for another higher number. No, sir. Okay. No, sir. For wow, I really like how he spun that. I mean, first of all, you don't hear many sellers say, I need to do my due diligence. And then I like the question where he was like, what do you mean by that? And he's like, hey, I've got to do my research on you and, and your company and figure all that out. Really love the pushback question from Max there. He goes, okay, so even if I offer you more, you're going to go to them and tell them that I've offered more. He really spun that where it's like, hey, I'm trying to call you on your BS if you're actually BSing me right now. Uh, that, was, that, that was probably Max's best moment so far in the call. I, I really like that. I mean, it's calling. I mean, your reviews and okay. reaching out to people you have done business. Oh, perfect. With. Okay. And what if we show? What if we showed you proof of funds and put down a deposit? It's a done deal. That makes sense, right? Because a lot of people talk money, but I would. If you were closer, which I'm in Winston Salem, if you were closer, I'd have you come to my office. Yes, sir. Then, but you know, I don't, obviously don't want you to drive an hour and twenty minutes to just come look at my office, but. On the day of closing, we'll meet each other. How about that? Sounds good. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I want you to put a timer on your clock. And give me 15 minutes and I'm going to call you back. All right. Sounds good. And what I'm going to just either tell you if I can go higher or not. And it's just going to be honest. And I just I just want to do my due diligence on this one just a little bit more. You guys know Just me. to I make sure I don't lose my phone. lose myself. Do you, and, and do you have any pictures? I think you set those to... Yes, I, I guess I sent um, a few pictures over here, sir. Okay. But I can also do a video walkthrough of the home if needed to be. Oh, you got a, you got like an uh, iPhone or something? Well, yes, sir, I do. Okay. All right, well, it is now 27 after. Give me 15 minutes or before, and I'm going to call you back. That sounds good. Thank you. Right, thank you. Yeah, Bye-bye. So you see in that scenario, I pulled out everything, painted the picture of what it, I, I can't even think like that. Mm -hmm. We know where he's gonna stay. I know what type of work he does. I know everything. That wasn't a difficult conversation you would say, was it? Mm -hmm. I was just asking questions that you guys maybe are afraid to ask. That's one of the first things I thought about. Um, when you asked him how much he, uh, who he got the loan from, I was thinking like, I don't know if, we're afraid to ask because we don't deal with that much money or if it's a situation that we haven't been in because we're all younger. Did, how many times did you hear me smile? A lot. A lot. A lot of times I could You think you can hear him? Smile. You think he heard me smile? Yeah. So even when I was asking some of the more difficult Solid questions, point. he heard he heard me smile. He heard the banter. He heard the laughter. His answer came back with a smile too. Exactly. Exactly. So I, I played into who he was. And that was hard. If he didn't, if I knew the number to get, I would I would have him sign a contract while I was on the phone. You would you would reach out and say, hey, I got a hot one. Somebody come help. Do you think that 140 that they're talking about is guaranteed? I, I know it's hot. Right? So let me, I'm, I'm doing my research right now. Where's my laptop? Down the street for 80, right? Of updated property for 209, updated. And it's been sitting in the market for like 50 days. Really? Let me grab my laptop. Yeah. Um, the only difference was the uh, price anchor that the person dropped in the beginning of the conversation last week from this, con uh, from this conversation. Everything else was the same. So Francis was saying Just the 209 updated and sitting on the market for 50 days. That doesn't sound good. It's priced low, but let's buy it because. But they pay 170 for it. I know, but who renovated? So they bought a turnkey renovated. No, I don't think so. You, you see, so if they bought at 170 and renovated. They were, they were losing money at 209. Look at the floors on this uh, on on our property that we're talking to. That's beautiful. That's 
that's character. Watch this. Uh, okay, well, here's nice. a picture of the kids. How much time I got, y'all? He's a beautiful cabinet. But you know that's not. Eight minutes. Okay. That's, Is that? Do you see a countertop? I love that countertop. <laughs> no. Now, what is the game changer? Or could be the game changer on this one. Is the extra the lot correct? The extra lot is worth forty thousand. Forty. Period. So that's so if you buy a one forty-five, you got extra yeah, lot. The lot changer. is worth forty. So then you're buying really a one hundred five. Correct. I just don't know how big the extra lot is. It's a it's a regular size lot. Let me see. It's a point twenty six twenty seven probably. Where is your lot? I'm about to lock it up. Yep. The only thing is that we're not over there to do this. You know how difficult it is to do this rentals from far away. Huh? What you say? To do the rehab. I wouldn't touch it. You're not gonna touch it. Just gonna. Assign it to somebody and sell it to somebody. I, I think I know some people up there I can maybe sell it to. I mean, if you can sell, a, yeah, if you can sell a lot and then sell a house at the same price. So where's his? Oh, he does have the exact same lot next door. Yeah. So you're getting both of them. Yeah. That's where the money is. Yeah. What size is that lock? They're, they're, uh... Can you imagine the company in New York's gonna walk away with that for 90,000? One year? Maturity? So it was like a Jesus. hard money loan? Or? That's worse than a hard, that's like... I, I guess that is a hard money loan. That's they gave him that loan, he wanted to rehab the house. Mm-hmm. Yeah, stick with hard me. Money loan. Stick with me. I call him back. You know, All right, deal. so we're here. Go, baby, close it. So just on the back street, Fitzford. Way different house. 260. It it sold for that was that was December though, for 245. Mark is still strong. Mark is very strong right now. Yeah, I mean it's uh, December. It's May now. How much time left? Yeah, I mean it's really probably even hotter than December because December was, uh, you know, we're going to spring. Does it make a difference that's a college town? It's in itself is already hot just in general. Yeah, yeah, that surprises me. Yeah. yeah. Surprises me that um, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, you know, come on, baby, go lock it up. Let's go. Ready to see Max Maxwell. I'm going to drove through it when I was coming back from uh, Norfolk. I'd like to see. Uh, let's see. Let just give me three minutes. She took all the time to oh, do. Shoot, I don't have the. What do you want? Well, let's see. So you see that comp two hundred nine there? Yeah. Why is it? Why is it there for like forty some days? I was trying. I was gonna try to call them and find out. But who's that? Why is? Why don't you call the uh, the realtor? The agent. Yeah. Well, you can't sit there and wait that long if you're gonna do it. I mean, they just did it. They just. You know who's selling it. So that means it's a terrible job then. Well, the, the, the doesn't look bad. Look at the kitchen. It's grand. Yeah, but when they're, they're, they're details, look at the picture look, though. Look. But I get it, Francis, but their details, when I went and checked out a property and it looks great. Yeah. So that I didn't pay 170 for it then. No. Oh, come um, on, you know they didn't update anything, man. Yeah, it's not pretty like we would do it. 
But in, in, I, I looked at the outside. The outside doesn't look that um, pretty either. It looks pretty there. Okay, but my question is, if they're concerned about the 209, even with the 209, if they paid 145, they get 40 for the lot. They're all in at 105 now. They rehab the house, pay for 40. They're back to 145, and they sell for 209. I mean, it's not a bad deal. Um, and that's a, the worst case scenario. It sounds like. I mean, it sounds like they were talking about other other properties selling for two forty five, two sixty. I mean, come on, we know you. We know you're calling back and you're closing it. Let's go. What's what's the, oh yeah, and I saw the 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 lot was nice too. So that's a that was a good comp. So that's that worries me. That gave me a little bit of a red flag, to be honest with you. That's why I, I told you about it. So let's. Oh, so you look at it. it went in the pending at two oh nine. Mm -hmm. It went in the pending, then it dropped out. That sounds like there's something wrong with the property. And, and it's a not price lowering. So went into pending, and then and then sort of uh, just structural issues. So Fifteen room. minutes blew by that fast. Two minutes. What time did I tell them? Two forty three. So this is the numbers. This is a 145, on, right? It's up on the 145. And let's say, uh, you know, more likely, it almost needs to be like 199. Because if that house number we have 209, maybe this one, uh, let's cut what, more at that. Well, what's the value on the lot that you had back in? 109. It's, it's already 109, split, too. No, if 109. Hear me out, hear me out. 109 updated, that's the thing. Here's, 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 here's the thing. Let's just say this is the house. You bought the lot, say you sell the lot for 20,000. Stick a flag in it, day, say day one, 20,000. Then you really bought it at two, 120. 125, yeah. 125. Okay, so what kind of renovation you're gonna do? Lipstick, 12, 15? No, you can't do that. Well, man, you know how fast we're gonna get. Let's get this guy calling. <laughs> 150, let's say you do 25. You are 150. Okay. So you sell 200, 10% and stuff, you make 30,000. Close this space. Come on. Actually, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Cool. So, I called you back on time, right? Okay. Yes, sir. I don't want to, don't want to be a man of my word. You know, I'm. A, here's here. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm looking at a property on the same street that uh, on. Do you, you familiar with that house? No, I'm not. Okay. Um, it's, it's the, it's the red, it's like a red color, I guess, wood siding. Mm -hmm. it, it's, I think it's less than a block away from where you're at. It, okay, it, yes, sir. it should have a for sale sign on it. Well, the, my main thing is they got the house on market for 209 for the last 30 days and it hasn't sold yet. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking, you know, that's, that's my... Yeah. I'm just being very blunt and honest with you. I think they're, they need to be around 199, which hurts a little bit if I go to one, let's just say I can go to 145. I don't know if I can, right? Uh -huh. But the one kicker you have is you, you do have an extra lot, but I don't know if anybody's doing building over there. Um, what over 140 do you gotta have to get this deal today? You know, because you got a relationship with the other guys, and I don't want to break that over a thousand bucks. Like to see you know what I mean? That, that I'm not, I'm not crazy. Stay right there. Yeah, I would have to be at, um, at least 145. That's my ultimate goal, if I 
can get that out. You know, it's, it, I mean, it's not going to put me exactly where I need to be, but it would be, you know. It's a step in the, yeah, it's a step in the right direction. Yeah. You know, far as putting, you know, twenty, thirty grand down on a new house. Can can you can you can you do me a favor real quick? Yes, sir. Can you can you use internet on your phone while we talking? Like um, no, I can't. Okay. Yeah, I know some service plans don't allow you to do that. I was want I was gonna want you to uh just look with me at this property and kind of just get because I'm buying all of this off of just your word, you know. But I, I we've been honest with each other, so. I just wanted you to look at and just kind of see what you thought about it because you know the area and you've been there for 10 years. Yeah, but I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty much a, hey, how you doing, go about my business, you know. Yeah, I just wanted to pull it up. I just wanted you to pull it up so you can see it and then tell me, you know, what is your house compared to, to this? And that would give me like an understanding. Well, um... I have worked with a um, a realtor. Well, I was planning to work with a realtor um, um, a, a few months back before I missed that time window. Mm -hmm. um, and he he used that as a house as comparison at one time. But the 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 um, what I would say that makes this house stand out more would be the so it does not a lot, or it could be sold as a whole even. As a um, in 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 one hole. Okay. Because uh, cause, because I think their lot is a, a seven um, point something acres, mm -hmm. and this lot is double that size. Hmm. So you say the house? I I think the house is a little bit bigger. For I think it might be a three bed three bath or something like that. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a three bedroom, two bath. Um, 17, I, I think it's bigger than 1577. I, it is, yes, yeah, 15, it is 1577. I would just love for you to see these pictures. Do you have a computer in the house? Um, let me see. And he said the address is 58. Yeah, 5807 Lily Drive. Lily Drive. Give me one second. Okay. See, at this point, I just want to get him talking. Keep him talking. Because I ain't figured out where I want to go with this yet. We know he lied to me already. Because he said he didn't know where it was. And then he gave you the square footage, how many bed beds okay. you have there was. Okay. Yes, sir. Mm hmm So, were you able to look it up through, through the uh, internet? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yeah, so you see the pictures? I don't know if you can see. Mm -hmm. If you click on Zillow, it'll probably show you pictures. You see how, like, compared to your house, and this is just apples to apples because I, I got to be smart about it. They, it looks like they had it under contract at one point, and it fell out, and then they actually lowered the price to 204 you know, a little while ago. But I'm just trying to see where... How do you think this compares to your house, basically? Um, again, I, I really can't say, man. Um, um, uh, well, mine, first of all, mine is a brick home. Brick, okay. So that's, that's good. That's good to know. I like that. Brick is better. Yeah, brick and vinyl. So I'm assuming Max already knew that. Because, I mean, if he didn't, that's a mistake. You should always pull the property up on Google Street View so that way you know what the exterior of the property looks like. And also you can search, search the entire neighborhood, look up and down the street, make sure there's nothing, uh, you know, strange or awkward about the neighborhood that you wouldn't want to buy. I, I'm assuming Max already knew that, but he's acting surprised. Like, oh, okay, that's good. Um, also, when they're comparing the property, that should have come up as well. So. I'm guessing they knew that, but if they didn't, that was a mistake. Um, but it's majority brick. Um, for starters, and, and again, the, the lot size is the lot size is double. Double. Yeah. 
what they're offering at, at 204 even though it was a price um, reduction I'm there. trying to find the exact one. Oh, that's a lot, but I can't see it. Yeah, I think it's like point four, uh, four three acres. Yes, yeah, yeah, point, yep, point four two five. And and the house, uh, just one lot is, is seven point um, zero acres. Got it. Where 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 the yeah where where it really. Okay. What? I really want to make this deal work. I just want to, man, if it was in Winston, I'd just come by and see it. But I tell you what, if I can, if, if, if I can get to 145, would you, would, would you make it happen today? Yes. Yeah, you already said yes. As far as, you know, I, like I said, you have to give me some time frame as doing, um, I'm not asking for days or nothing or, or time to find another buyer at a higher price or nothing like that. Mm -hmm. No, so I'm just asking for, you know, um, the time to get my ducks in order for us, you know, doing my research on who you are and who you represent, which represent as far as your, your rate on your clothing and just, you know, yeah. reviews on, on your company. Okay. Um. What's a good email for you? Um, and, and I can text you directly on this phone here? Um, no, this is a land. Okay. A land. Okay. Um, it's best just to email me. Okay. I, I respond pretty quickly. I, I, I'm on top of my emails all day, every day. Okay, perfect. So what I'll do is I'm, we have our own in-house attorney, paralegal and all that stuff. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have them do some research and try to get you out of contract in the next 30 minutes. Okay. Does that work? That sounds, that sounds good, man. I didn't think I was gonna be buying a house in Durham today, but I guess I am. Congratulations, man. <laughs> just hope, just pray everything works out for the both of us, man. I need a discount on some on some rock delivery to my property, <laughs> man. That's, uh, look, that's what I should've put in there. That's what I should've threw in there. When everything's said and done, man, look, I will definitely give you my business card. All right. We gonna make something yeah, happen, man. I don't know how much you need, but I can definitely we can work out a, a, a definitely good price on some loads. Yeah, cause I, I just put I, I just bought 20 acres. I'm putting my house on, and uh, yes, they making me do all types of erosion control permit plans and all types of stuff. So yes, sir. But um, so what I'll do is I get this over to Tammy, and then Tammy will send you an email, and we'll go from there. That sounds good. Yeah, it was good talking to you, man. Maybe one day we'll sit down and talk about some other stuff. Sounds great, man. Uh, so you'll be hearing from me soon. If you need anything or want to text me, this is my this is my personal line. Oh, yes, sir. All right. Sounds good. We'll talk soon. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. That's how you close the deal. That man was capping hard. Yeah, he the really was. Phone call. He really yeah. was. He was holding back so much. Contract signed that night. What is this? I, I guess that was their little end. Uh, okay, so obviously Max close closer. Uh, there was definitely some things that I would have wanted to change there. I didn't think that he needed to take the full fifteen minutes for for the analysis. He was already pretty close to being there, uh, especially with his knowledge of the North Carolina market. Um, the the close itself, very unique, the way that he, he handled that. He went back to the well for, I think it was either the third or the fourth time where he said, if I were to get the 145, are you going to sign today? He got that verbal out of him multiple times. Yes. I just need to do my due diligence on you and your company. And then he kind of sat in a pocket of silence and then came back with, okay, I'm going to send you a contract. Uh, interesting way to close the deal. Obviously, a successful way to do it. Um, 
it was just an interesting way to, to handle the entire little close of the deal, especially with how they had navigated the conversation up until that point. Um, you know, it had been very, like, to the point, uh, very blunt, and then it was kind of a, a strange way to end it. But uh, overall, I thought there was a lot of great takeaways there for Max. Uh, I was very impressed, probably more so than anyone, um, especially since Max Jimenez. Max Jimenez did a lot of pull away, but Max probably went to the well. I mean, early on, I mean, it was like, have you thought about hiring a, a realtor? Uh, have you thought about refinancing? I mean, he was pretty much throwing everything else out that the seller could do besides selling him the house. Um, I'm curious if he just knew a lot about this and that's why he went that route or if he always does it. Um, I don't think we'll know because I don't think Max has any other live seller calls out there on his channel. If he does, let me know. If you know, send them to me. I'd be curious to see if that's what he always does. But uh, great job, Max. Listen, Max was one of the best judges in Closers Olympics history. Um, I always enjoyed having him on. He also had me win every single round that he judged. So, of course, I'm a little bit biased on how great of a judge he was. But great job, Max. Congrats on, dude, I, I had Max on my podcast back in uh, 2018, so six years ago. Uh, it's crazy to see how he went from a wholesaler to then becoming the, the YouTube and social media sensation that he was in the wholesaling space. So now moving to Dubai and being married and, and developing over there. Uh, congratulations on all of your success, Max. Uh, a lot of us are, are hoping for your success over there on your new ventures. And we appreciate everything that you did for the wholesaling community with all of the content and really kind of spearheading uh, the opportunity for a lot of us to fall on your footsteps. So we appreciate everything that you've done for this. All right, guys, let me know what you think about Max in the comments. Make sure you like this video, and we will see you next week on The King Closer Reacts.